And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Riolos X Race is back, at least temporarily, for a subscriber only edition. All the subscribers on my Twitch channel have had the chance to join for an exclusive opportunity to compete in a special X Race hosted just a few days before the new Trackmania game releases. And the format is going to be the same, of course. Nothing is going to change in terms of the format. We're going to play four unknown endurance maps with at least six minutes, roughly. There's one map which is actually a little bit shorter, but uh, the maps are long. The maps will not be discovered beforehand, so everyone will have the same chance to compete. We're going to have four maps in each of the four TM2 environments. We're going to begin with Valley, then move over to Stadium, followed by Lagoon and Canyon as last Maps built by the community, shoutouts to everyone who was uh, putting some time and efforts into providing the maps for this special occasion. And the first map, which is in the valley environment, has been built by Ibo called Terra Incognita, with an author time of 10 minutes and 12 seconds. Let's see whether uh, some drivers might actually make it under the 10 minutes barrier. But for now, we're gonna dive right into the race. We have one attempt. One attempt for all the players, and depending on your position at the finish line, you will be granted points. So with 84 players starting, it will be 84 points for first place, and then it will go down in increments of one. So each position will be worth one point less than the position in front. So let's go into the race here. I'm specifically going to focus on the top players as well to uh, just witness the race. And we're currently taking a look at German player Veryu, who is finding himself in the middle of the pack right now on roughly 50th place. Going for a big hit there into the wall there, sadly. We'll lose out, uh, lose out on some additional positions here, but he is still going to be very well in. Cloud is uh, in, playing for Team Eminem, one of the best Canyon players out here at the moment. And has also accumulated quite some solid knowledge and value. And right now he's on 7th place behind Hazard, who is uh, rocking the Japanese characters here on P6. Then we have Meep12, Taxon, Maxi, Lars and Nixotica. So a lot of uh, very potent players here in the game right now. And also Marius89 is trying his best right now on P8. Let's go a little further down the list. We have Hype who just uh, spontaneously decided to actually join the XD race, and he's actually doing pretty well, even though a small wall touch has uh, made him go a little slower, but Hype's still very well in here. <clears throat> very well in here, Hype doing very well so far. Then we have Chris, longtime supporter of my uh, stream as well. Shoutouts to him. We have Effect on P12. Luke on 11. Big Bang. Mr. Quarterpipe, right now uh, doing very, very well on 10th place. And then we have Siffler, also with a great, great performance so far, even passing two players as we speak, going up to position number 10 here at the next checkpoint. 6.2 seconds behind the leader, who is Nixotica right now. Nixotica just resubbed to buy himself a ticket into the XD race, and right now he's actually first. So he is leading in front of Lars, who is also one of the best Valley players right now. And also a mapper for the Canyon map, which we're gonna see later. So Lars with very good chances at winning a map right here. And we have an amazing battle for first right now. After two and a half minutes of driving, don't forget that nobody knows these maps. So everything is improvisation. Map reading skills and, uh, you know, handling the car spontaneously in every type of situation. Lars now having a bit of an advantage right there. Will go up to first and extends his lead by 0.9. Nixotica on second. Meep 12, another fantastic Canyon player. 2.1 seconds behind. The leader at the moment. Going for a small slide around the left-hander. And then we're, we're being followed by another M&M player. Maxi on P4. Very good performance. Followed by another German player, Marius, has gone up to 5th place. Followed by Diderik, Hazard and Cloud in a battle. And also Luke and Big Bang, very close to each other. So this is a 4-man battle we might take a look at. And also Chris is not too far behind either. 
So we have an amazing battle right now. Three and a half minutes have passed and these players are not even a tenth apart from each other. And this is the beauty of the XD race. Where so much can happen. And uh, the race can take a twist within a second almost. One respawn can basically kill you already. Small transition up to the platform, big bang. Reading it nicely, however, hits the wall pretty badly. Oh, and he gets lost, he drives to the right, why? He did not see the entrance into the hole. And as a result, he will get passed by multiple players, big bang down to 14th place. Taxon. Hairpin around the grass checkpoint right there. German player and a fellow Twitch streamer also on 11th place right now. Doing pretty well. Right behind his countryman, Chris. In the lead, we still have Lars, who has extended his lead even further. Now one, no, two seconds down. Lars extending his lead further and further. And what a battle we have. Meep with a mistake on the outside, sliding into the barrier, allowing Marius to go up to third place now. Very close battle. We have, uh, yeah, three drivers with an M in their name. Marius, Meep and Maxi on P3, P4 and P5. And this section has uh, surely shuffled around the leaderboard a little bit here, with some smaller mistakes happening. Maxi going a little wide here in the tunnel. 7.5 seconds behind right now. Frazix, a new name in the top 16. Italian player by the looks of it, on 13th place. Fantastic performance here. Very happy for Frazix, who is 16 seconds behind right now, doing a fantastic job. And also Speed Self in the mix right there. That is super awesome to see. In a three-man battle between himself, Veryu, Effect and Siflair. So it's actually a four-man battle here. Very, very nice to see. Also, Diderik. Very good performance by the Hungarian player. On sixth place right now. <clears throat> and he seems to have no trouble to uh, read the map. Also, this jump did it very well. Seeing the arrows in front. You know, the difficulty in building maps for the XC race is that you need to build maps that are readable uh, at first glance. You need to build maps that are not too difficult. Um, even though some of the maps that we will see later will actually kind of be the opposite. Um, I decided to have some more difficult maps for the XD race. Normally the maps are easy enough and simple enough to be read at your first shot. But uh, particularly the stadium and the canyon maps will have some RPG and some trial maps, uh, trial elements in them. Of course not too difficult, but also far away from the normal map standard that we have in this competition. But uh, yeah, Lars is doing great. And has now extended his lead by 5 seconds. And that is why you can't beat Lars in Valley. It's... it's not possible. <laughs> Taxon on uh, P8. And Luke is trying to uh, come closer to the Derek with more speed. Creeping in. Going through the tight section here. 7 minutes have passed now. Which means we will have roughly 3 minutes for the players to compete. The author time 10 minutes 12. So uh, yeah, still a lot of things that can possibly happen. And Luke is coming even closer. The Derek now mistiming his turn, goes into the wall and will allow Luke to pass him for one position. And uh, in the front, Luke is aiming for the next opponent. He's like nom 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 nom, give me that next opponent. And it is fellow countryman Maxi for team MNM, who's sitting there on P5. Oh, but Luke with a mistake and also Maxi and this will actually allow two people to benefit from that. Diderik and Taxon have done that part a lot better and now everything is kind of closer than it was before. Oh, some mistakes happening here on the outside. Couple wall banks. People not managing their speed properly in that turn. And we have some sick fights going on. We see Meeb on uh, fourth place just right up ahead here. Followed by Taxon, the Derek, Maxi, and Luke, and Big Bang, and Cloud, and Hazard. So anything goes here. We have a big trail of cars at the moment. And the only one who's truly gone is Lars. Lars is gone. 
Lars is now 8.9 seconds in front. And Marius is now actually going for the overtake here for position number 2. Marius with the overtake, but it is a nice back and forth right now. Marius taking the downhill right corner a little bit safer than Exotica. And that will make up for a very healthy fight between 2nd and 3rd place. USA versus Germany right now. Marius also a very, very good contender for a potential victory in the XD race. And with this, he would set a good step forward. With a third place, he's going to get a lot of points. So let's see how he's going to handle the last minute of this track. Nexotica with the wall touch on the left will allow Marius to actually come a little bit closer here. And now we have a neck and neck battle once again. Nixotica jumping in the dirt section. And that is a good opportunity for Marius to set his second position in stone. As we have Lars really, really doing well here. Absolutely crazy performance by the German player by Season 1 XD Race winner. Taxon up to 4th. Cloud, Big Bang, everyone super close to each other. Big Bang failing the brake trick right there. Sliding out entirely. And Big Bang will lose out on a lot of positions right there. Given how close the battle was. But let's take a look at Lars, who is now approaching the last section of the track. A low, uh, just a few corners remaining for Lars. And I wonder if he's going to break through the 10-minute barrier. I think he won't. No, he won't. Lars will win map 1, though, with an absolutely fantastic performance. And he will win with a 10.04, which is absolutely fantastic. Beating the author time, even, by uh, 8 seconds. And that just shows how great Lars has played. Marius with top two, Nixotica on third, and now this is going to be exciting. Who is going to take the next positions? Taxon on fourth, Meep on P5, followed by his teammate Cloud. Big Bang right behind, Maxi on eight, Diderik on nine, Luke on ten, and then we have Hazard up next. Hazard finishing on 11th, Veryu, Chris, Speed Self. And Boris with a fantastic 15th place. Congratulations to the top 15 finishers. And now let's take a look here. Just putting the camera here to the finish line so you guys can see everyone finishing. But what a performance by Lars. That was almost unbeatable. Nixotica put up a great fight in the first 2-3 minutes. But then Lars just showed why he was Season 1 champion. And... With that, Lars will win 84 points, and the other t uh, the other players will go down in increments of one. There is a 10 minute uh, 10 minute finish timeout, so hopefully everyone will be able to actually finish the track and gain some points for the total standing. And then we're gonna move over to Stadium, which is uh, gonna be a lot harder than this map, a lot harder. And I wouldn't be surprised if the one or other person um, would decide to rage quit on that map. Because it's actually hard. But we see everyone slowly but surely finding their way to the finish line here. And I think on a map of this rather easy difficulty, 10 minutes of finish time is probably too much. But yeah, everyone's now trying to finish here. Similk. Up next, followed by 69 PvP Noob Slayer, Mr. Velox, Oliwander, Rayrin, BQQ up next from Finland. There he goes. Dr. Tilt up next. Finishing as well. Let's take a look at some gamers here. Future Cat is 5.4 minutes behind. What? <laughs> what? That was so lucky. <laughs> that was so lucky. What a save. But uh, yeah, Future Cat is in. And he will have plenty of time to finish. Did some other players finish in the meantime? I think Nabs finished. And the only players left on the track are Marvin, Magellan, and Future Cat. I only have a hotkey for Future Cat. Weird champ. And uh, don't mind the checkpoint display in the bottom, because that is bugging out in spectator mode. Future Cat is a lot further into the map. Do -do 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 
But it seems like this map has generally been picked up pretty well, with 35 thumbs up and 3 thumbs down. I think this map is a good way to kick it off. And uh, yeah, as I said, two maps in particular will be very, very difficult. Canyon and Stadium. And the Lagoon one is similar to this Valley one. The Lagoon map is doable, a little bit harder than Valley from my perspective, but definitely doable. Can any sub join at any time? Yes, you can join at any time. As long as you have the password, which you can find on the Discord server, then you will be able to join at any time. So, let's see. We see uh, Magellan. Uh, not sure where he is right now. I hope he's going to be able to finish. So let's just keep watching. Future Cat getting the bumper. But he should still make it just fine. Will the maps be downloadable in future? Uh, the maps will be on main exchange, yes. But it's up to the mappers to update uh, the map, uh, to, to upload the maps, obviously. But yeah, the maps, I will ask all the mappers to put these maps on main exchange. So if you guys want to play that and experience the maps yourself, then they will be on the interwebs as well. Wait, was Magellan in the tree there? Yeah. Oh, Magellan in the trees. So we have a battle going on. <laughs> All right, four minutes and 30 seconds. Is future cat gonna make it? Drifting through the corners safely, but steadily. And that's exactly what you need. You don't have to be super fast or you don't have to be a pro to enjoy this competition. All you gotta do is play and don't give up. Take it easy. Don't rush anything. Take your time to read the map. And if you're unsure about a section, use Camp 7. Or uh, turn on the other cars to see where they have been going. But yeah, Future Cat coming closer to the finish line. And he is gonna make it. Look at the in-game chat. That is the spirit. That is, that is so lovely. Everyone cheering for Future Cat and he's in. Future Cat finished. GG. Congrats to Future Cat. And then we have Magellan as well, who finishes just behind. And with this, we have all the people finishing. We didn't even need 10 minutes of a finish timeout. Oh, Laser Drifter just joined the server. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it. I think Laser Drifter can uh, just retire. <laughs> Alright, and there you have it. Lars wins map number one. In front of Marius, Nixotica, Taxon and Meep12. And now, a big challenge awaits the XD Race contenders on the next environment. On map number two out of four, it is going to be on our beloved stadium environment a map by taxon and i sadly have no idea how to pronounce the map name but here's the map and this one sure is immersive and impressive from the outside this is the map built by taxon map number two of a riolus xd ray subscriber edition and this one is a little bit shorter than what you would normally expect in the XD race. This one has an author time of 5 minutes and 30. Normally, maps are uh, at least 6 minutes of length for this competition. But here, um, I have decided to not let him map too much because this map is hard. This map is kind of RPG-ish. So a lot of RPG elements, a little bit of pathfinding, even though the pathfinding is on the very easy end. So there are still enough visual cues and enough signs for people to find the finish. However, I can understand um, that people might have a bit too much struggle with this, but yeah. I thought this map is super, super special. And uh, I'm curious to see 
how people are going to manage this one. Because this one is sure going to bring us some exciting racing. So the points will of course be carried over from the first map into the second one. So Lars is of course still leading. Here you can see the top 10. And on this map players will be able to win some points again. And the mapper Taxon is of course not going to play this. He will still receive points depending on, on his average position on the other three maps. So the mappers of course will not play their own map. Here we go with the first round here and we see uh, Veryu again actually for some reason. Why are we spectating Veryu? Let's take a look at someone else for the beginning. Taking a look at Luke who placed P10 on Valley. Oh, gets debated by the glass. <laughs> into the glass he goes. Running into the glass. But realized just quickly enough. So yeah, a very technical map. A lot of parts where you need to maybe make sure what you're doing. Have a little respawn section here. And very important to read all the signs that are on the map. Who is doing the best right now? It is Hazard in a battle with Maxi again. Very good performance by Maxi and also Nixotica. Oh, Nixotica spotted the hole. Nicely done so far. Oh, where's Maxi going? Gotta go to the left of the pillar and go up the balancing section right here. Yes! Do it! Yeah, just like that. Ooh, Simply Nick, ladies and gentlemen, on third place. Simply Nick, our Australian powerhouse on third place right now. This could be a map for him, actually, because he is very familiar with this map style. And I think he is confident enough to know what he's doing. This could be a map for him. Let's cheer for Nick. Nick is doing good here. Turbo, also doing great here. Turbo, in the mix for 4th uh, place right now. Between Peterson and Marius. And then we have Ebola on 7th place. Dr. Eugene, Siffler, Veryu, Maxi, Dan, 1KD. Oh, Maxi dropped down a little bit. Frazix again. Voichal as well. So, a lot of new names in here. And let's take a look at Lars, because Lars has one valley. And in order to secure that first place, and to manifest it, he needs to get some decent points on Stadium as well. Right now, he's on P12. In front of him, someone just respawned, so he's going to be 11th here. Yep, 11th place for Lars at the moment. Passing another one, and another one. Whoa, this is a great opportunity for Lars, passing four people in an instant. Up to sixth place he goes. Greatly seen by Lars, who is of course one of the best quick learners in the game. In all of the environments. And he is going to move up a few positions with that. Marius on five. Lucker's Turbo still on uh, fourth. Oh, he gets a little stuck here under the pipe, but he's still in. Nick still on third. No, Nick up to second place, ladies and gentlemen. Nick is second. Nick is second, but already with an 11.4 second deficit. Hazard is really, really good on this map. Holy moly. Look at him go. It's like Hazard knows this map, but uh, of course he doesn't know the map. Oh no, Big Bang gets a red time. After doing very well on the first map, now he will not get any points. Sadly, lost connection midway. Red time meaning that uh, your connection timed out and the client basically synced uh, out with the server. And to prevent cheats, your time will be invalidated. But yeah, look at him go. Super, super impressive by Hazard. Let's take a look at Nick, who is probably lost a little bit more time. Nick is now 14 seconds behind and is being attacked by Nixotica. 
So we have a battle for second place right now. Let's see. We uh, don't really have too much of track left. It's like maybe one and a half more minutes of driving for the drivers. Lars on fourth. Marius on five. Turbo dropped down to sixth. Oh, he got a little stuck there. Gets passed by uh, Maxi. And Speed Self with a fantastic performance right now. Look at Speed Self go. Finding himself on eighth place. Nico on nine. Rocking the big skin. Then we have Veryu, Siflair, Peter Soon, Eternity, Ebola, and Effect. But I'm curious to see how this battle is going to develop. Nick versus Nick Zotica. Where's Hazard at? Hazard is definitely going to win this map. There is no way Hazard is not going to win this map. Hazard. It's actually scary how well he got through this map. It is legitimately scary. Holy moly. But this battle is also hot. Nick versus Nick Zotica. But I want to see, because Hazard is uh, slowly but surely going to reach the finish line here. Oh, missed this section. But recovered very, very nicely. Oh, what a save! <laughs> what a save by Hazard! That was very impressive. Just sliding down, pretending like nothing happened. And uh, yeah, the author time, of course, unbeatable. On your first try, Taxon probably put quite some effort into this one. And we will see Hazard come closer to the finish line here. And there you have it. Hazard wins map 2 with a 623.7. And now the battle. For second place, Nick versus Nick Sotica. Who is going to win this one? We don't really have a lot of track left here. It is going to be these two. No one else can put any anything else into it and no both are making the same mistake here but Nick Zotica will get away a little bit faster than Nick and this could be the nail in the coffin for Nick and it is indeed going to be the case Nick Zotica takes second in front of Nick and next up in line is going to be Lars that was the opportunity for Nick if he had cars on he maybe could have seen it but apparently he made the exact same mistake unfortunate for Nick but that's what it is so Nick will take third in front of Lars. Marius bonking into it as well. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, Siflair. Siflair missed a checkpoint. Oh no. Siflair missed a checkpoint. How unfortunate. Marius will take fifth in front of Maxi, Veryu, Nico, Turbo, Eternity, Meep12. But Siflair is getting cucked. He missed a checkpoint somewhere. Oh no. How did that happen? How did that happen? That is so, so sad. He was doing outstandingly well. And now that happened. Damn, dude. Where's the finish? Ah, here somewhere. I need to find the finish. <laughs> uh. Ah, here. Found it. Here's the finish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was no visual cue at all. There's the finish. So, uh, taking a look at the rankings here. So Eternity on 10, Meeb, Speed Self, Voichal, Chris, Xerix, Effect, Frazix, Peter Soon, Pi Delta, and Onway for the top 20. Congrats to all the finishers so far. And let's see if the 10 minute finish timeout is going to be sufficient. I can always put it higher so that people can still have a chance at finishing. Alright Nick, thank you for playing anyway man. So, let's see. Kivil, next one to reach the finish line. Congratulations. Monster Soul and Sparkling Water up next. 
Yeah, I think Siflair will not really have a chance at figuring out which checkpoint he missed. So that's unfortunate. There's Ender, BQQ, MDF, Ibo, Tycho. Who is going to be the next player? That is going to be the, the drum roll. Who is going to make it? Hop. With you saying it was a bit of an RPG pathfinding map, I thought I was going to die so hard, but actually had my best XZ race ever <laughs> on this map. Hey, GG by Delta. Happy for you, man. That is very, very sick. But it seems like this map hasn't really been picked up that badly. Of course, it's a map of a different style with uh, parts that, you know, where you, where you have to think once or twice to make sure you're going the correct way. But all in all, I think uh, people have enjoyed it for the most part, so that's great. There you have it. Daniel... Oh, Tycho, I think, still missed the checkpoint. That's unfortunate. You're Danik D. Okay, Danik D. There's also a Danik B. So now we have Danik B and Danik D. Now we only need Danik, Danik C and uh, we're good to go. Chilhaza missed like 20 checkpoints. Okay. That's pretty crazy. Alright. Dr. Tilt. Rayrin, Similk. Hope all of you have gotten all the checkpoints. Let's take a look at a player perspective. Pika Blue. Pika Blue is actually somewhere at the beginning. Interesting. Rayrin also struggling. Do we have someone else to spectate? Magellan. Where on the map is Magellan? I think this is pretty early as well. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to reach the finish line. We'll see. Marvin is still driving. Marvin is going to finish though. Marvin is pretty close. Oh, you just joined. Yeah, I think you're not going to have enough time to join uh, to finish the track, sadly. <clears throat> but Marvin is definitely going to make it. Unless he missed checkpoints. Hope he didn't. No, he did. No, Marvin. Marvin. God damn it. So it seems like we have quite a lot of rip people. Quite a lot of rippers. Who haven't been able to uh, collect all the checkpoints. Ooh, Kazar is at the start. <laughs> <clears throat> there's Pika Blue. There's Magellan. Yeah, I feel like none of the remaining drivers have the chance to finish anymore. Marvin trying to finish again. <laughs> Rip. <clears throat> Had to go eat breakfast after Valley. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed your breakfast at least. All right. So let's just keep watching a little bit here. And the next environment is going to be Lagoon. Map number three is going to be Lagoon. And uh, that map is going to be a little bit easier again. It's not going to be some crazy pathfinding stuff. It's just going to be Lagoon. Lagoon, which is an, an environment which is hard enough by itself already. But uh, I'm sure we'll see some very close racing on Lagoon as well. Alright, two minutes. Don't think a lot can actually happen here in the remaining of this race. But 
Pika Blue can give us some good entertainment here. Or maybe it's going to be Tycho entertaining us by dropping down into the void. <laughs> Magellan working himself towards the finish line. So he might actually make it. Unless he missed checkpoints. Let's keep watching. Magellan, let's go, man. Bonk. <laughs> what? <Well>, bonk? <laughs> Bonking everywhere. Is Magellan gonna finish? I wonder if he did it. Is he in the records? Let's see. Yup, Magellan finished. 15 minutes and 17 seconds. Fantastic. So yeah, I think the remaining players are not gonna make it. GG Magellan, congrats on finishing this big boy. All the maps of the XE race will be available on Main Exchange, so if you want to play these maps at your own pace, uh, you can do that. They will be on Main Exchange, available to download for free. Hey there, Hecto. Map 1 was Valley. Valley car on Valley environment. And uh, yeah, there you have it. The results are now up to date. And let's take a look at the scoreboard after the loading screen for map 3, Lagoon. And here we are, Tropical Retreat by Botifara. Author time 6 minutes 4, so another short map. It is definitely possible to get under 6 minutes, even though it is probably too difficult to do that at your first try. But we'll see, we have some very talented Lagoon players in the mix. So this is it, the Tropical Retreat. The current score right now is a tie for first between Lars and Exotica, both sitting there with 155 points. Marius on third with 153, Hazard with 148, Maxi 146, Meeb 144, Veru 141, Speed Self 133, no 134, Chris with one, one, four, uh, 133 and Luke with 127 on 10th place. <clears throat> So as players are warming themselves up, we're going into the second half here. The second half of the XD race. With all the players participating. So as I said, this map is not as difficult as the stadium map, but Lagoon in its nature is tough to handle. We have some tight corners, we have a couple beach sections, we have roller coasters, we have a bit of this, a bit of that. So, a lot that you need to be mastering in order to succeed in this environment. So at the start, we can uh, basically see nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> so I think for the start, we might actually resort to the overview camera. So we're starting here, in front of the hotel. And then our journey begins. Map number 3 of the subscriber-only XD race. Tropical Retreat, here we go. Oh, Mr. Trolly Moly getting stuck here. Toyeka also not making the start properly. On the way, a little bit slow here as well. But for the most part, everyone is getting off the start block decently. And here's the first beach section. This is already going to kill a lot of people here. Beach, one of the most difficult surfaces in this environment to handle. And this one immediately <laughs> spreads the people apart. That is absolutely hilarious. We see some thick lagoon car asses here in Camp 3. I, I don't think that's the best uh, camera right here. But we're spectating Lars, who is of course in a direct battle with Nexotica for the victory of this competition. Right now a 6th place for Lars and Nexotica right behind. So this is the battle we definitely need to look out for. Cloud, ladies and gentlemen, is actually on first place. As I said earlier, he's mainly a canyon player, but... Uh, being good at Canyon makes it easy to learn other environments like Lagoon or uh, Valley because they're all 
they, they all stem from the same amount of or from the same physics so uh, yeah cloud on first in front of hazard the winner of the stadium map taxon back in the driving spot Ooh, cloud missing the corner to the right did not read the signs and all of a sudden also lars a wild lars appears and all of a sudden lars is going up to first place followed by taxon cloud and hazard Marius on 5, Maxi with a lot more exit speed, passing Ebola right there. Into the next roller, uh, roller coaster section we go. These maps are pretty big, so uh, as a participant of the XD race, it is very often beneficial. Oh, that is a big yeet by, uh, I don't know who that was, I think it was Maxi. Now this part has actually killed a few people right there. Going too much on the inside and hitting the inside of the staircase. And that is, of course, a free ticket for the Lagoon car to jump into the next solar system. Um, but yeah, these maps are pretty big, so it is often beneficial to turn down your graphics a little bit to ensure smooth FPS and smooth gameplay. But most of these players are uh, already... regular XD race participants, so they know what's up, or they have, you know strong enough of a computer to participate on these maps without running into some technical problems. Great fight for first place here, ladies and, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Lars is leading by only two tenths of a second. We have driven almost three minutes on an unknown map and we see only 18 hundredths of a second between first and second place. Taxon on third, Cloud on fourth, Marius on fifth and Nixotica is already a little further behind with a 3.7 second deficit. Let's take a look here at the four-way battle. Hazard with a mistake. Suffering from major speed loss. Will drop down all the way to fourth place. So the battle is between two Germans and one Dutch. Cloud holding up the flag for the Netherlands. And then we have Taxon versus Lars for Team Germany. Lars with a, bit, a little bit of lower speed. Taxon getting the roller coaster section very nicely. On to the next beach part we go. Lars with the more aggressive inside line. Ooh, Taxon! Taxon! Snapping into the tree almost. And before the impact even happened, he decided to respawn. So, very, very fast reflexes by Taxon. Even though I'm not sure, maybe that was actually savable. But he decided to respawn. And now drops down to P5 as an effect. Marius up to 4th. And the three-man battle here is still hot and spicy. One second between first and third. And Cloud is leading. Cloud past Lars. Hazard going for an attack here on the wood section. For those who are unaware about Lagoon physics, wood is actually slidey. Ooh, Lars with very bad speed. Slid for a little too long. Um, but yeah, the wood surface always makes you slide, so it's basically slippery wood and you need to make sure that you optimize your uh, drift angle there. But what a performance by Cloud, still holding up strong even though he is being attacked by Hazard. Going on to the grass now, Hazard getting that a lot better and we might see an overtake as we go into the tunnel section now, a neck and neck battle 5 minutes into the race. And these players are 3000s apart from each other, this is why I love the XD race. Cloud versus Hazard. Hazard with a little bit better of a roller coaster section. And all of a sudden, Lars. <laughs> Lars in the battle as well. Hairpin section, nice and tight. And also here, he gets it a little bit better than Hazard. Closing in. Let's go uh, down to Cloud. 500 of a second between first and third. I literally cannot even see anything. That's how close the cars are. Absolutely ab unbelievable battle right there. Love to see it. Cloud with the inside line right now ahead. Going into the next hairpin. Still very nicely done. But Cloud with a mistake on the left side. Hitting the wall. Hitting the wall again. And this could be the nail in the coffin for the Dutch player. Multiple mistakes by Cloud on the left and on the right. Playing pinball stay a space cadet right there. And now it is only Lars versus Hazard. Lars in the lead. Very close to the inside wall. Hazard almost uh, kissing it as well right there. And we see Cloud losing two and a half seconds within an instant.
And this is the finish line here. This is Lars winning by only half a second. What a battle. Lars on first, Hazard on second, Cloud on third. Then we have Taxon, Marius, Xerex, Nixotica, Meeb, Luke, Ebola, SPHD, Flucked, Maxi, Eternity, Chris, Veru, and what a battle that was. That was really, really cool to watch. That was super, super impressive. Considering that nobody knew this map before, I think this map has offered us some tremendous racing. What a battle. GG to all the participants here. Hopefully no one's gonna miss a checkpoint here. I think this map has been straightforward enough that people don't miss anything. But uh, yeah, I thought that so often already and then people still manage to miss checkpoints, so it can always happen. It can always happen. So nobody has beaten the author time. Lars being three seconds short. But still very, very impressive. Extremely, extremely impressive. Next player's finishing, Ravi, Voichal, Danik D. Oh, Danik D, did he finish? Wonder if he did. Chillhase, Future Cats, Valthi, Zoop. And then we have Peppy Wayne, Yeet, Didizzle, Yeet, Nabs, Hey. And yeah, the map looks very visually pleasing. Lagoon in general can look absolutely amazingly. And I think this map is a prime example of how you can make a map look very stunning. So shout out to Butifara, who has uh, built a few maps for the XD race already. For example, a canyon map for Season 1 Final. That one is an absolute classic. You missed a checkpoint sparkling, oh no. Sorry to hear that, man. Wait, did Ollie finish? I wonder. Because he hit this, but I don't know if... No, I don't think he finished, actually. Or did he? He might actually have. So Sparkling Water is the only one left on the track here. Sparkling Water, mate! Sparkling Water, standing. And this is it. This is the GG for map 3. And now... The final map of this competition tonight is gonna be in the canyon environment on a map built by Lars. And this one is very comparable to the map we've seen in Stadium. This one will incorporate a lot of tight sections, a lot of RPG sections and uh, some trial-ish stuff as well, even though it's very, very easy trial. But uh, that is the map. How do I get better rank on Lagoon than Stadium Opium? Here is the map, Endeavor by Lars. This is map number four, and the score looks as follows. Lars is in the lead by uh, six points, so he should have the victory safe because he is not able to play his own map. But uh, yeah, he will of course get points for his average position on the first three maps. And since he's first, I think he basically won at this point. Marius with a tie for second place between himself and Exotica, both sitting at 232 points. Hazard with 230, Meep with 220, who will probably have a very good chance at winning this map because he's one of the best canyon players. And he will be contested by Cloud for sure. But then we have uh, Maxi with 218, Veru with 210, Cloud with 206, Chris with 203 and Xerix with 202. This is the last map for today, ladies and gentlemen and this one will decide it all. The top three of the XD race will win merch from my merch store. They will be able to pick whatever they want. 
And uh, also one randomly drawn player who finished all four maps will win something from the merch store as well. On top of that, we have two game keys sponsored by Dutch Speed. One key for Dirt Rally, one key for Dirt Rally 4. And also these will be distributed among some players. Here we go with the last map, Endeavor by Lars. And this one is uh, off to a true banger of a start already. And Meep12 taking an early lead here in front of Cloud. So uh, the two players I expected to do well are actually doing well right from the get-go, but Cloud with a mistake. Uh, Dirt 4, I mean, of course, not Dirt Rally 4. Dirt 4. So that was the first uh, kind of difficult section. We also see Yogo Sun, a very, very good Canyon player, improved a lot in the last year, coming from zero to hero pretty much. Player from Norway holding up the flag for Team MNM. Oh, small mistake there, Caster's Curse. But he finds himself on a solid 13th place at the moment. Let's take a look at Nixotica. He is in a direct battle with Marius89. Whoever wins, or whoever does well on this map, they both do the same mistake! Are you kidding me? <laughs> they both clip the exact same edge, as I was about to say. That whoever wins this map will also win the internal battle. Ooh, very nicely done by Marius. He saw that part immediately. So this is a part where you need to drive up, slow down, and drive on the narrow ledge to continue your race. So these are the parts that I was talking about. What? Peterson, what the fuck? <laughs> so you see, this is not your regular racetrack. We have some RPG-ish elements being spread all over the map. So it's a mix between race and RPG. A little bit of a balancing action here as well. But uh, four M&M players in the top six. That is what I call dominance. Meep is leading in front of Hazard, Cloud, Nixotica and Maxi. Yogo now passing his own teammate for P5. And the gaps are already quite huge. Meep is absolutely popping off. He has been playing a lot of Canyon lately, setting a lot of world records on the Nadeo maps. And he is warmed up. He is warmed up for sure. Up we go. He saw that immediately. Hitting the checkpoint. No, he didn't get it. And he's on his side. And actually has to respawn. Big, big upset for Australian player Meep12. Who dropped from first to fourth within an instant. He had accumulated such a big lead. And it goes immediately down the shitter. Basically. Immediately down the shitter. And now he needs to do the comeback. And he already did it. He's back to first. <laughs> what a gamer. What a gamer. Oh, he fell again. Meep fell again on the narrow balancing section. Up the staircase we go. Follow the arrows. We have a couple of invin invisible checkpoints here. Oh, Nixotica fell. But he recovered. On third place he is. Taxon on fourth. Cloud on fifth. Marius on 6th. Oh, Marius, super unlucky. Falling into the gap. Gets passed by two German players. And we have a battle for first place. Meeb versus Hazard. Hazard might have the advantage in uh, RPG stuff but, and reading skills, map reading skills. But Meeb is definitely the faster player in Canyon. And you can see him immediately pull away. One corner after another, he extends his lead. Look at him go. Very nicely done by him so far. Cloud dropped down to P5. The boss, also a very good Canyon player, on the sixth place with a 12.7 second deficit. Maxi, Marius, Chris in a battle with Tiss, but I think Tiss missed some checkpoints because he is not in the list right now. Here's Yogo Sun. Diablo, Xerex, Ibo, Frazix, and Veryu. What's happening at the front? Oh my god, Meeb is already 3.4 seconds ahead. Now we have the roof part. Oh, Hazard is in a very uncomfortable situation. 
Will he be able to make it? Nicely done. What a save here. And Nixotica is now up to first place. Meep had some trouble with that part as well. And now it is Nixotica up to first. We have a bit of a balancing part. Once again, very, very tight. You want to use your brakes to turn a little tighter. Want to use some brake tricks. Oh, Nixotica having some trouble. Meep almost flipping at the landing as well. Meep misses the entry. Meep misses the entry, has to respawn. Luckily, this map has uh, a lot of invisible and small checkpoints placed all over these narrow sections. So even if you mess up, you're not losing a lot of time. But all of a sudden, we see a big plot change. Oh, what a, what a turn here by me going around the black boxes. I didn't even know that was possible. Nicely improvised. Taxon still holding up strongly on uh, fourth place. Maxi taking it very easy. You see that he doesn't want to risk anything. And he's doing very well on top of that. What's the gap between first and second? It is 4.1 seconds at the moment. Is Meeb gonna check that out? We'll see. He is closing the gap though. 3.6 seconds. He is closing in even further. Hazards. On third place. The positions are pretty much set in stone. Not a lot is uh, actually happening right now. Even though we might see an overtake here between the two Germans. Marius versus Maxi. Marius with the drift through to the inside, passing Maxi for another extra position. But at the moment, in the battle between Nixotica and Marius, obviously Nixotica would win as he's leading the map and is leading by 1.8 seconds. So Meep is pushing, ladies and gentlemen. Meep is pushing. A little of a wonky landing right there for him, but he is still alive. Let's check back on some other players. In the top 16, we have Nico versus Zyrex, two uh, players very close to each other. Zyrex right now having the upper hand for the moment. This part we have already seen as we spectated Nixotica. Not much is really happening here. Nico trying to get a little bit more speed through this part, but collided with the wall. We have uh, Frazix, Xerex, and Nico very close to each other. Nico has quite some pass, uh, quite quite a past in uh, RPG maps in Canyon. Struggles to uh, read the map properly, but uh, there it is. Oh, we have a we have a change in the lead here. Meep is in the lead. Nixotica must have failed really badly, as Nixotica is now th six seconds behind. And now we're going into the final cave. This is the last cave section. And not a lot can really go wrong here for me. He is most likely going to win the map. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was close. But he is going to make it here. Not a lot of track left for him to be done. One more drift. Hairpin to the right. Gotta make sure to read the signs. Beautifully driven by him. Keep in mind, nobody has seen these maps before. And Meep is doing an absolute fantastic job. And there he goes. Almost as expected. We see <laughs> Meep finishing with a with an 8.59.61. Congratulations. Very, very solid performance by him. And Nixotica, after having led a big part of this race, 12.9 seconds down. Having made a lot of mistakes. Hazard on third. Now we see Taxon versus Marius actually. Taxon versus Marius. And it looks like Taxon will stay ahead. There you have it. Maxi up next in the list. Maxi finishing as well in front of Cloud. The boss on P8. 
Yogosun. I remember he said he was a bad map learner. He said that on his stream earlier, but a ninth place is absolutely fantastic. Congratulations. Xerex. Next up here on P10. Frazix on 11th. Nico on 12th. Diablo on 3rd. Eternity on 4th. Uh, 14th. And Moro on 15th. So that is the top, uh, top 15 for you. Okay. So let me find the finish here. Uh, finish, 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 somewhere here, right? Finish, finish. Here is the finish. So I'm just gonna park the camera here in the tube. So, here's the camera. And this will conclude the XZ race. Now there's 8 minutes of time left for the players to reach the finish line to get some points for the total standing. And then we're done. Speed self. Teman, I think Styx missed a uh, checkpoint or a few checkpoints actually. He's now chilling. Moin. Nice car you got there. Oh, who finished there? It was Hay. Luki. Future Cat on 41st. Viti on 42nd. Who is gonna be next? Doremi, Haxe, Chris, Kevil, Trifko, Fluffy Mittens, Dr. Eugene, Ander. And, uh, who is this? Tiss and Sticks driving in circles. <laughs> new, new. <laughs> Let's take a look. Sparkling water! Or uh, no, the game switched to Hamanshi instead. Let's take a look. Hamanshi going right at it. Coming closer to the finish line. To the left, and to the right, and to the left, and then we're done. Havanshi on his way to finish, and there he goes. 59th place for Havanshi, GG. Kara is now on the Dizzle. Is the Dizzle gonna finish? And he is indeed. The Dizzle, congratulations, P60. Here's Sparkling Water, who said that he is trying a new camera, going from Cam 1 to Cam 2, and is even playing with a new controller. So he needs to get accommodated to a lot of new things for him. Peppy Wayne is in 66th place. Nicely done. Oh, a Minecraft cart. <laughs> 69 PvP Noob Slayer. A Minecraft cart. No, I want to spectate the Minecraft cart. Game. Gip. Minecraft cart. Bruh moment, man. So yeah, now it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> it's hard to tell where the walls are with a car like this. He's making it. Skirt. Ch 
sharing for the Minecraft cart. One more turn. You got this. Go, go. Dude, if he misses a checkpoint now, I'm gonna be sad. He missed a checkpoint! For fuck's sake, Minecraft cart. Re Unbelievable. Can't believe it. What a cuck. Okay, so who's left on the track? Valfi is left on the track. Let me find Valfi in the list here. Because Valfi is definitely gonna finish. I hope, at least. Hoping for Valfi. Let's go, Valfi. Let's go. No! Drift, Valfi! Drift! Yes! Drift! Yavolo! Drift it, mate! Yes! Skrrt! Let's go, man! Oh, no. Where's he going? Wifey! Is he trolling? Or did he miss a checkpoint and he knows? No! He's in! 67th place. Valfi, poppin'. And I think the only drivers uh, left are drivers who missed a checkpoint. And that is Tiss and Minecraft Cart. Hey, there's a Minecraft Cart on the ceiling. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. And the winner is most likely going to be Lars. We will find out the winners uh, soon. After I enter all the results in a Google spreadsheet. But these are the provisory results here for the X-Series. So thank you very much for participating. And thank you to the mappers as well for providing all the maps for this competition. And uh, yeah, that was heaps of fun. So I hope you enjoyed the race, hope you had some fun either watching or participating or memeing and uh, who is ready for the results? I mean most of it has been obvious anyway but we have the results finally and the results look as follows. Lars wins with 310 points. Congratulations. Nixotica on second place with 304 points. Third place goes out to Taxon with 302 points. Fourth place goes out to Hazard, Login Nick Speed with 301 points, tied with Marius. Marius on fifth with 301 points as well. Meep 12 with 293 points on position number 6 in front of Maxi who placed on uh, position number 7 with 286 points. Then we have Cloud on P8 with 273 points, Xerex with 266 points on 9th and 10th place goes to Veryu who recently returned to Trackmania and pops in a banger of a performance with 264 points on position 10 in the subscriber only XT race. And then, of course, shoutouts to all the other participants who have gotten themselves a position in the leaderboard.